the Dell 1525 is stuck like this. Uh, Mom was trying to you can boot it up and get in there, and somehow she got into this screen. I've never seen it. Uh, message error code, numbers, user graphics test waiting, or user input. Give an error code and message can be used by Dell technical support to help diagnose the problem. Do you want to continue the testing? Now, so this is the Dell diagnostic screen. She must have hit something to get in there. <coughs> what I don't know. Let's see if I can use this keyboard on here. I've got a, a monitor and a wireless keyboard on this, but it's kind of down where I can't reach it or stand it up. Um, I want to say no. Let's see. Yes. Oh, Y N. Yes. No. Retry. Where's the N? There it is. No. Select OK to reboot. All right. There we go. Just hit enter. See if it boots up normally, or if I have to. It could be AC power adapter cannot be determined. Now that happens all the time. So the thing to do is to shut it down hard shut it down and uh, it's working its tail off I can hear that fan going like crazy number one uh, this uh, VGA cable was kind of half unplugged oh, really? yeah it just kind of it's just the weight of it you know wants to make it unplug and you this laptop you can't you know normally you can screw them in and make them there's little screws to screw them in but you can't do that on the laptop it doesn't have the holes to do it I'm not showing that. So that's all it was? Well, no, that's not all it was. It got wacky with the battery. So the power, the one that's around here, uh -huh. unplug it and plug it back in. Try that before. I turned it off, making sure all the cables are where they should be, and then we'll try booting it up again. <clears throat> and if that doesn't fix it, sometimes you can do it while it's running and, with the power, I mean, and it'll boot it back up. Yeah, well, it, would, it doesn't matter with, uh, for, anyway, that was, I don't know how you got in that screen. You must have hit a, you usually have to hit a function key, like F10 or whatever. I mean, I don't know which one, but one of the function keys, you know, the F keys on the keyboard. That's how you yeah, usually F1 get into, did you hit one of those? Yeah. Well, it that, said something about hitting it. Oh, and so you, that's how you got in there then. Uh -huh. Yeah. And if it was F1 a. Is, it tells you to do that every time it won't come up. Yeah, doesn't F doesn't F1 go into the BIOS? I think. Well, you don't you don't know what BIOS is. Anyway, F5 was probably the one that got you in there. I'm gonna guess. Okay, so it's still saying. Oh, okay. This is the screen you were seeing. Yeah, this is the one. The AC power adapter cannot be determined. And that's usually just because it's not. Um, it just gets out of whack. Uh, Usually just unplugging it from the computer and plugging it back in, it'll be all right, but that didn't help with it would not run. And I think you have to mostly do it when it's running. Let's see. Please connect the 65 watt adapter. Resolve the issue. Strike F3 key. Uh, before the F1 or F2 key, if you do not want to see power warning message again. Okay. And then strike the F1 key to continue F2 to run the setup utility. Oh, okay. Uh, F5 to run onboard diagnostics. Okay, that's what you did, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to unplug this power again and plug it back in. Now, it, well, it seems to be getting power because the screen got dimmer when I unplugged it, and it gets a little brighter when I plug it in. Sometimes that, most of the time, that'll fix it, and then you've got to... Just unplug it instead of hitting that uh, one. Yeah, out. before you, like with that screen still up, yeah. unplug the power adapter. And then plug it back in, and then power and shut it down, because it doesn't. Yeah, because it does. I forgot. It doesn't sense anything with it not running. I did it with it not running. So let's try this again. See if it. Sometimes it's just. It could be. You know, the power supply is old. It's old. The whole thing is old. So it may not be always. Every time I turn it on, it has trouble coming up. It may not. Yeah, it may not be working good anymore. The power supply maybe getting weak. Maybe the thing. I didn't want to bother you because I thought you was going back to sleep. No, I'm, I was, I've stayed up. <clears throat> Let's see if it um, works right this time. So far, it didn't go into that error, mi error mode. Yeah. It does that, too. 
There we go. It's normal now. It's going to boot into the bank. <clears throat> got to get what happens is the uh, laptop screen when it when it's getting close to being booted up the laptop screen goes dark and then you can only see it on the monitor which is actually a good thing it just did it automatically when I set this thing up Fedora doesn't do that it makes them both work at the same time the domain 8 I believe is what's on here does that so it's ready to log in so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and there we go. Should be okay for this session. <laughs>